student good afternoon you children can you hear me yes sir okay very good afternoon to you uh, only five students today no only five including me five uh, only five only four <coughs> Today, it's going to be a very important lecture and in the previous session we, we just learned together about uh, knowledge, what knowledge means in all in the previous week's session. So today is a continuation of that. And uh, this is going to be a very important lecture, okay? <clears throat> this is going to be a very important lecture. And, oh, and also this subject is quite challenging today. Today, area of the knowledge we are sharing is, is quite challenging to understand even, yeah. So the subject is, of a module is innovation management, but you should know that the, the knowledge, what's needed for innovation, mainly the knowledge. Even in that three circle, four eye diagram, uh, you have noticed that knowledge and experience together is the knowledge. Uh, and that is very important. So without knowledge, uh, innovation is not possible. And also the, what uh, instrumental for the innovation is mainly the knowledge. Yeah. Knowledge innovates. So we will see uh, what this knowledge means. We will see what this knowledge means. Only five students are here. <coughs> So here, when it comes to innovation management, so in this uh, four eye circle, the knowledge is there. So we have to manage that knowledge. When you need to innovate, or when you need to manage innovation, managing knowledge is very important. Even in that uh, innovation funnel, the tunnel, innovation tunnel, innovation funnel. Also, you see all the, sta all the stages. Uh, knowledge is essential and even the innovation steps or the, from the different departments, from marketing to R&D to the process technologies and even the production and also till the sales and even up to the customers. Uh, this knowledge matter, okay? Knowledge is very important. So let's see how this class today is unfolding, we will see. Yeah. So this, this module, sorry not to say this module, today, knowledge sharing, you have to feel this. You have to feel this, okay? So you have to feel the importance of this knowledge management. Even feeling this means also it's a kind of knowledge that you cannot explain in words. Yeah, so you have, you may get some knowledge you cannot explain in words. Also we call it a, a knowledge that's a very special knowledge. So later we will look into this later means of course, today itself. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to share one story with you. Uh, I'm going to share one story with you. 
this is uh, uh, you can look into the wikipedia and all this william l mcknight okay william l mcknight and let's see what's the importance of his uh, presence in this slide later we will see so is regarded as an american a great businessman you will see what great in the sense later okay what great in the sense later okay so you are going to learn the story and out of this you are going to learn something very very important and possibly you have never heard yeah i believe you can see the slide i believe you can see the slide <clears throat> so william l mcknight okay mcknight like mcdonald this is mcknight William L. McKnight was an American businessman and philanthropist. See, philanthropist. So they are contributing for the social developments a lot. They are contributing to the social benefits, social betterments, in terms of their ideas, in terms of money, in terms of resources, in terms of providing leadership and all. Uh, for the betterment for the society other than being a businessman yeah. and he's he here it says that this McKnight Mr. McKnight served his entire career in 3M Corporation we are going to learn about 3M as well 3M Corporation rising to chairman of the board from 1949 to 1966 49, 50, 17 years being a chairman means he's quite uh, respected, venerated, irreplaceable, cannot be replaced. Uh, looks like a very towering figure those days, Mr. McKnight, in 3M. Yeah. Even he founded the McKnight Foundation in 1953, in between his career as a chairman of 3M. So we will, we have to learn about Mr. McKnight as well as the 3M, okay? In learning about the knowledge, <coughs> okay? In learning about the knowledge, yeah. <coughs> so surprisingly, even though he was the chairman for over 17 years, is a great philanthropist and he is, he he formed uh, he founded the McKnight foundation in 1956 or somewhere around but in 1907 of course over 100 years back he joined 3m company as an assistant bookkeeper you imagine in sri lanka joining an assistant bookkeeper and rising to the level of chairman of one of the great companies in the world do you think it's a joke do you think it's a joke no this is very serious that's why there are a lot of things to be learned out of this story a lot of things to be learned about three about mr mcknight so we have some very good respect for this kind of people because they are not only making money you know they are really contributing the contributing to the society by every means yeah. so mr mcknight later you can explore but let me continue this uh, slide so we can see nine students now yeah this is very interesting so again, I repeated this. He rose quickly through the ranks 
and become president in 29 and chairman of the board. I uh, see, 99 he joined and in 20 years he became the president of the company. And later, uh, the chairman of the board. In US, there are presidents, vice presidents in US companies. They do, those are some little high titles. Eh? President, vice president, but in Sri Lanka like companies, we may sometimes we may have, but in, in even Asian like uh, Taiwan, Japan, you can see this kind of positions in uh, companies. Vice presidents, e even here maybe I have heard in Browns also they have the presidents, vice presidents, and but they are later become the <coughs> they become the board members, of course. So what's important here, you should relax today eh, when you are learning this. But relax, but you have to be very serious. Relax, but serious. See, two things together. And you have to be very attentive. Yeah. So his timeless management philosophy. Timeless management philosophy means here in the sense that management philosophy applicable for those days during Mr. McKnight's time, that is him early 90s and even now it's it's more applicable nowadays that's why there is timeless management philosophy and because of that still mr mcknight is a respected person in the world among the business com not only the business community in the industries and all just because his timeless management philosophy you imagine even the management there are philosophies so you are going to be managers so if you don't have the seeds of management philosophies you are facing more and more challenges but if you have the seeds of many good management philosophies the good seeds right now instead of challenges you will see the opportunities that's the difference yeah so uh, try to feel this yeah there are important management philosophies yeah and this is about to delegate responsibility and encourage men and women to exercise their initiative see as managers as leaders of the organization so they are <clears throat> They are really delegating instead of commanding. They delegate the responsibilities and encourage the employees to exercise their initiatives. Initiatives out of four I. Ideas, imaginations, initiations and innovations. So those initiatives will lead for innovations. And those initiatives are for innovation. And you know that even by this time, 3M company is the most innovative company in the world. In all the aspects, including environment as well. Yeah. Well before this subject coming, environmental management and cleaner production, all, even 3M, they, they had a uh, a great initiative they, they call it for the environmental point of view 3m ppp program still they are they are working on that yeah. 3m ppp program later we will see what 3m ppp means that's about the benefits you are getting out of pollution prevention. Yeah, pollution prevention has benefits. Yeah, pollution prevention, pay back something. So for those who really made an effort on pollution prevention. That's why this 3P three, three means, PPP means pollution prevention pays. Pace. Pollution prevention pace. 
3M PPP program. That's why you have to learn a lot about this. Later, we will look into 3M PPP program as well. Yeah, these are the philosophies, really. You imagine PPP is a philosophy, environmental management philosophy, adapted and also we can say invented or founded by Mr. McKnight, if I'm not mistaken, because uh, he those days, yeah, he was very, yeah, very genius manager. Yeah, even though he started his career as a bookkeeper. So today I'm talking a lot. So slides are not moving. I am talking only. So if you don't listen, you will miss the thing. So it is very important to pay the attention today. Okay. So timeless management philosophy. So you believe managers should be philosophers. That is yeah, not only philosophers, they have that philosophical aspect. Yeah. But when you rise on the ladder to the top, of course, there will be philosophers. Yeah. Do you think Mr. McKnight joined as a bookkeeper? Do you think he had a degree at that time? Do you think? I don't think so. Uh, also, do you think he had a, uh, he had a good educational background? I don't know. And I don't think so. <clears throat> but how comes in the 20 years time, he learned something those are not in the books and very new things to the society. And that knowledge he shared with the organizations and with the societies. In return, he is paid with the promotions and all and become the president of this three m and later become the chairman of the board in the top person imagine from bookkeeper to top portion top person it is not a fortune but it is the knowledge it's a philosophy with him that that made him uh, put in that position of course it took some time but quickly rose to the chairman level and still in the 3M company, those who are in this chairman and board all are long serving employees. You cannot simply join the 3M company at later stage, no matter how qualified you are, how talented you are, 3M will not recruit senior people outside, from outside. See the policies the philosophies which means they are grooming they are grooming the people from down to make them rise on the ladder and they are well taken care they are having a very good life having a very good life very good life this means only the resources but their life has a very good uh, uh, noble aspect even 3m employees are considered very good yeah, they're very good. Not only the talent, but they are philanthropists. Yeah, they share the things yeah, with the others. They contribute for the societies. Yeah, so it is more than a business. And the world is lucky to, especially US is lucky to have this kind of businesses from the beginning as a very good trendsetters and as an example. That's why when there is one 3M company, those who follow this, let's say 100 follow this, at least they have 50 of, not to say full 3M, but at least half 3M companies, 50. That is good enough. They would also innovate. That's why the importance of having good companies. Uh, do you think in Sri Lanka we have such? <laughs> we got an opportunity once, but we have lost it. That is the Upali group those days. Upali Group was a very good company. Employees were taken care of very well. And those days, Upali Group employees, they were really proud of being, Upa, being with Upali Group. So anyway, Upali Vijayavardhana's group, also those days, he used to fly a jet. In Asia, I think those days, even Malaysia, India, no one used a private jet. But Upali in Sri Lanka, he used a jet. Yeah, he, he's, he's a, he has a very good uh, 
management philosophy and leadership as well. So now we can see not that innovations. Those days, even vehicle assemblies, food and food industries, even cosmetics, the newspaper industries, the island came those days and more. But now that group is no more doing very well. No more doing well. Why? Because Upali is not there. Because Upali is not there. And uh, when he was, uh, how to say, uh, vanished, something like Prudhanguna. Yeah. So that group was still new and yet to develop a very good company culture. Upali group was a young business those days. It was not matured enough to have a great culture. So at that time, transition time, once the leader and the visionary person is gone, generally it goes down. That's what happened to Pali Group. Otherwise, Sri Lanka will be doing well because if we have one of Pali Group, there should be many. But still, Sri Lanka, we have very good uh, local, the national industries like Ginaseen. Yeah, Ginaseen is one of the very good industries. And also, John Keels, we would say they are also very good. John Keels is the biggest company in Sri Lanka. So they, they, we have such appreciating business conglomerates, yeah, we call, yeah, still we have, yeah. But there may be other so-called big companies, they imported the waste over two, three hundred containers. That is, Haley's belongs to the Amika Pereira and all. That's why they are, they are not, they are not really the, how to say, uh, they, they are really the deal makers, not the true businessmen. Yeah. So deal makers, they buy the shares and all, they, they will acquire the businesses and they just play in the stock markets and all and they make the money. But when it comes to this uh, uh, noble mindsets, they looks very poor. Yeah. They looks very poor. If not, they should not, they should have not brought in the waste in hundred over two, three hundred containers to Sri Lanka. Yeah, Haley is done that one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Anyway, I'm moving the slides now, but this slide is here for several minutes. So you have to listen very well today. Yeah, repeating this. So when the business grows, even before business growing, it is very important to delegate responsibilities and to encourage men and women to exercise their initiatives. Delegate means in singular, we call it Vagakim Kinima Pavarana, Vagakim Pavarana, but still you are responsible as the leader. So it is not that easy delegating responsibility, carry a lot of things. It is not just the words and documents. Delegation needs mentoring. Mm -hmm. Delegation needs advising. Delegation needs to take care. Delegation needs kindness. Delegation needs responsibility. Delegation has a lot of qualities. It is not a just word. It is not just word. Assigning someone to do something. No. There are a lot of things. Yeah. That's why, so one way as management students, you should be very lucky to learn the management as a discipline because uh, this is truly philosophical. One way and truly practical another way and you can really contribute. So try to be very passionate, uh, very bright uh, managers in future. Yeah, change makers. So you have to get very important knowledge beyond the books. Yeah, even I can share these words with you because we also have some little knowledge that is not uh, explainable in words. So somehow some knowledge may be within us. So we are sharing that in words, but those are not in the slides. So those personalized knowledge. Those are not in the books and words, even for a lecture or for a students, for innovators. 
those knowledge those are not in the books those are not documented we call this tacit knowledge t a c i t tacit knowledge can someone even google and see what's a single word for tacit knowledge and share with us tacit knowledge what's a tacit knowledge means for that you can share it you can google tacit okay so mr william mcknight he also had a great tacit knowledge but he did not kept did not keep it with him but he shared that knowledge with the people somehow he strategically make the people to have that tacit knowledge so it becomes a culture that tacit knowledge is part of the culture of the organization that's why the organizational culture there should be a knowledge base as well so organizational cultures are very important so if the organizational cultures are very bad so you cannot see the you cannot see the progress of that organization one way no matter how young the organizations if the leaders can provide some good cultures can uh, install some good cultures even by doing by uh, as examples so the organizations can improve day by day step by step continually when there is a good organizational cultures and practices favorable for the society for the environment for the employees yeah that's how yeah that's why it's very good organizational cultures are very important extremely important yeah so we will see how to build an organizational culture yeah today we are we we supposed to discuss how to how to build how to contribute for a good organization and a culture also we will just look into the things that if the organizational cultures are very bad how that affects to the societies and all sri lanka we have very good bad organizational cultures example the sri lanka parliament parliament culture is quite bad yeah and even though we have democracy for so long i think over 50 60 years maybe yeah but still organization as itself there are no much groomed leaders political leaders no much that's why there is no culture always there is a breakage no good culture no good build up so that affects the development of the society that affects the security of the society that affects the peace of the society mainly because this parliament they don't have this good organizational cultures yeah so you can recognize this kind of things yeah but if there is a very good culture countries want fluctuating developments it will continually develop yeah anyway so this tells that even the this mac mr mac knight when he delegate means power and okay i think to let's say so when the employees they do the mistakes still they consider those as opportunities the employees were not penalized they they were still okay yeah they were protected so those are anyway some very good companies they have this culture mistakes innocent mistakes still admirable and learnable but in sri lanka maybe if someone do some mistake he has to get ready to go home with no job so that's why those are bad cultures but hopefully we we will change the, those kind of things yeah the knowledge management story we are going to continue i'm not talking much about uh, mr mcknight but when you learn this 
uh, you will feel how important Mr. McKnight's philosophy is. Okay. 3M. 3M means Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Corporation. So its first scope is mining and manufacturing. 192 means 1902. This is mostly coal, maybe, or graphite, or some raw materials for manufacturing and also for energy. Yeah. So founded in 1902. How come this is the most innovative company? So this 3M, everybody knows it is 3M now. Yeah, 3M. So he's the, so again about Mr. McKnight, the chief executive office early in 3M's history, long considered to be the company's spiritual founder. You see now, yeah, spiritual founder, the word there. So you are doing management. So if you are just having a book knowledge, yeah. if you don't have that tacit, so-called tacit knowledge, unexplainable knowledge, yeah, some philosophies, yeah, so you cannot do very well. Yeah, you are underutilized for the country. Okay, so see here, even the, so even Mr. McKnight, they mentioned not as a founder, but as a spiritual founder. Yeah, so you can imagine how come the spiritual aspects can make the companies different, of course, yes. Spiritual, spiritual doesn't mean the religion, spiritual and extremism. Huh? This is the very good, the, the founder with the great spirit to move the company forward. Yeah, so that's what the spiritual here means, huh? not the religious one introduced policies and philosophies that were considered to be responsible for 3M's ability to innovate consistently. So his policies and philosophies, they have that vision. Darshaniya, yeah, they can see. See means that is how they feel it. Yeah, unexplainable knowledge within them unexplainable but valuable knowledge that were considered to be responsible for 3M's ability to innovate consistently. Yeah. Innovate, that's why now you can see how relevant this session today for innovation management. Yeah. So even the business innovations, the organization innovations, the knowledge innovations, yeah. Cultural innovations, organizational innovations, a lot there. All together, finally, it becomes something like something like a spiritual uh, aspects. Of course, should be there when you consider everything. Yeah. Okay. Good. Even now. Yeah, I, I highlight the spiritual founder there. Even the current management has continued to embrace and expand these policies and philosophies, believing innovation to be the cornerstones of 3M's future success. Still, 3M really continue and embrace and expand these policies and philosophies. That's why running and developing and innovating an organization, that is what the knowledge and innovation means. Yeah, knowledge innovation and the management innovation. Or knowledge and innovation management, knowledge management and innovation management. So uh, you keep these thing, things in mind that your goals, your interests, your challenges. These are the things, not just a book knowledge, not a memory, but these are the things that you should get inspired. And today's session is about the knowledge management. But if I don't discuss this 3M story, 
if I don't, or without 3M story, this knowledge management session will not be that effective. Yeah, 3M story is essential if you really need to feel the knowledge management and innovation management. So you, you imagine, yeah. So you also get this knowledge, the interests, those are not in the books, but knowledge and innovation management questions may be in your exam because it is important. 3M's objective is to become the most innovative company in the world. That is what people are saying. Putanaman Kiyanika, you know, you got it. Can you hear me? Hello? Namaya, you know, I see, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. <laughs> yeah. So this is what people are saying. 3M's objective is to become the most innovative company in the world. What for 3M innovative means it is something massive. It is something massive. It is not just about product innovation. It's not just about making money. Yeah. It is about everything. Yeah. It is about everything. Yeah. There should be so many aspects, so many parameters to consider the com to, to regard a company as an innovative company. It is not about making money, but innovative companies make tons of money. It's not about developing new products. Of course, 3M is developing a lot of products. And the 3M, I think in the world, the most patents are belongs to belong to 3M, if I'm not mistaken, most patents. The single company own most patents, it goes to 3M, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So who do these things? Of course, the organization. Organization means <coughs> the people. People means employees. So they consider still the human resources, the knowledge, knowledge of the people is very important. So that is very important. And they, they 3M employs a wide range of knowledge management systems. Just not the keywords, later try to fill this. Okay, so knowledge has to be managed in the organizations, even we as individuals, it is very important to manage the knowledge. It is very important. At least the knowledge essential for us, we should explore. Right? Yeah. So for organizations managing the knowledge. So 3M is very keen on knowledge management for innovation to become the most innovative company. So even in our module, if we don't discuss this kind of topic and we discuss something else, we may not be discussing the right innovation management, okay? But before innovation management, you have to create the environment for that. Before, let the knowledge management happen. Before, let the innovation management happen. The company needs to create the appropriate environment. Yeah. Then only people are motivated and they provide input. That's why. Right. So the still the business, the working environment should be there to support the knowledge management. That's how everything, even the appropriate environment is part of innovation. So it's a part of the innovative company. So you cannot just separate company, separate people, separate products, separate do innovations, no such thing. Everything together move this company as the most innovative company even today. Yeah. So I don't know why in Sri Lanka we don't have such companies. Yeah, we had a chance, we missed it. That's why. 
So you go, you won't get any country won't get plenty of chances. Okay. Yeah, there may be very rare one or two chance unless you grab that opportunity. Sure, you miss it. The countries missed it. Yeah. Okay, the tacit word came. Puta, what's the meaning of tacit in singular? What's what's the word tacit in singular? Hmm? Tacit. Look at the singular watching. Looks for Google Translate. Or look for a, look for a, a dictionary. What's the meaning of tacit? Hmm? This is something like hidden knowledge. Right? This is something like hidden knowledge. So I'm going to look for the word tacit. 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 Yeah. Okay. Tacit, not about the tacit knowledge. What's the meaning of tacit? Okay. Translate. Yeah. Anyone found it? Tacit. I'm very slow. Tacit. So you translate this to the translate to single is possible. Single is oh. You got the meaning? Yeah, that's it. It's very good to get this into the slide. That's it. This is the meaning of this tacit meaning. Also, I will look for the Tamil translation of this. <coughs> This is the Tamil translation. This is the Tamil Tamil translation. You have to be very patient. Very nice. Good. And also I will go for the tacit knowledge. Yeah, this is the one. Tacit knowledge.
tacit knowledge. Let's say tacit knowledge, same like in Tamil. Let's say tacit knowledge in Cervantes. Oh. I don't know how this one. This is not right. This is not right. Yes, tacit knowledge, there is no replacement. It is a tacit knowledge, yeah. See, even in Japanese, they have, because that is very important, but in Sri Lanka, there may be a word for that. This is Japanese word, tacit knowledge. I will go for one. Okay. <coughs> Back to this. I hope you can see this. Can you see? Tacit to tacit. Yeah, very good. Today learning is slow, but I'm very sure you will get something even without your knowledge, you will get something because this is the knowledge that you are getting silently. Even with, without your knowledge, you will get this knowledge. Okay, yeah. But your readiness is very important. Eh? 3M concentrates on the tacit to tacit area in the belief that if this is functioning well, other aspects of knowledge management will fall more readily into the place. The willingness to share between individuals is directly affected by the culture within the company. Okay. I'm going to explain this, okay, not in these words, okay. <laughs> so tacit to tacit knowledge, and this is what 3M is believing, tacit to tacit knowledge. 3M concentrates on the tacit to tacit area. Hello? I believe you can hear. So this is a very different lecture today. So the tacit means, not to say silence, but tacit, tacit, okay? In Sinhalese, this is called Nishabda Tave. Yeah, but this is what knowledge in silence, okay? Knowledge in silence, the, those knowledge is not uh, visible, those knowledge are not in words, are not documented. That is what tacit to tacit. 
So that is what tacit tacit. So tacit in Tamil. So this is the word. So any Tamil student here, they can refer this word. Okay, they can refer that word. Okay. <laughs> Tacit meaning, so it's about the silence. Tacit knowledge. Tacit knowledge, uh, singular, no such. Uh, yeah, tacit knowledge. We didn't have a good Google translation, but uh, this may be okay for Tamil. I don't know this one. But the next one is C. For the Japanese, this word. There is an English translation, tacit knowledge. Do you know that Japan is a country? They believe and they have a lot of tacit knowledge. And that is the secret of the success we have seen in Japan. Yeah. I can share very good examples. Yeah. So Japanese, they are going from Tacit to tacit, okay? Tacit to tacit, that is very important. So tacit knowledge, that is not in the words, but they are going from tacit to tacit. If I speak in singular, Isarakali Gattabhoe me dharme ki me Buddhism, even Buddhism, maybe Catholicism, even the Christianity. Even the Islam, they are knowledge is from tacit to tacit. Tacit to tacit. Those are originally not in the books. Not in the books. That is also tacit knowledge. Let's say example. Even nowadays. Same preferences in the Tripitako Vatiga, but when a Hamdru Banaki in a good go, the Kina de Kina, some put no penas. Egin Samar Samina Sela Gidaran de Sela. Bono Prasidda, Janapria, Kati Agaker. Because they have some tacit, some hidden knowledge. Yeah. So that is maybe some kind of understanding, some kind of realization. Yeah. Unless that the uh, Ahamuru Monohari again a potakli venet, and that knowledge belongs to them. Even writing a book, it is not possible to transfer everything. But tacit knowledge, instead of writing, maybe at least 80% can be expressed in words. Tacit knowledge. Yeah. Tacit knowledge can be expressed in words, maybe very close to 80%. If someone is wise enough in using the words and all, but tacit is mostly silent, silent in the sense not exposed to hidden. Japan no latino mehima culture. There is a culture in Japan that it's going from generation to generation in the universities, in the schools, the children respect the masters. West it is different. Respect the master and they never challenge the masters. They never challenge the masters. Even in the universities, it's a tradition. Japan is in the Aitihasika Kal in the they believe it. It's like a, a school of thought, yeah, a school of thought. Kya nee ka? E guru area ki ye na parampara, e wa e vidhya re dene ke na, e parampara bhi sarhat yaar. So what they are having mostly are the tacit knowledge. Then a publication nee hoti na, but tacit knowledge. They do private for tacit knowledge, and they do improvements, they do additions and all, but the tacit knowledge moves. Tacit knowledge moves. Those are not in the words. 
those are not in the books. Okay, then Japanese I don't know how we publish karagi la the journal will him. No such thing. Japanese. They keep the tacit knowledge to their culture, within culture. So even they don't expose, but anyway, we now the people in the world have learned. That's a five S. Well, then something they call the pokayoki or whatever in manufacturing. So some, somehow people are now learning 5S and all the things. But still, no one can be masters like what the Japanese are. Because Japanese, they have that tacit knowledge. They have the Dhanumakti, they have the whole silent knowledge. They have the whole silent knowledge. They have the whole silent But that knowledge passed from generation to generation. It's through experience that's why even in that four i circle knowledge and experience experience what we call the tacit knowledge experience it's very important the tacit knowledge <clears throat> yeah so i will give one more very good example i think today today's slides are moving very slow Slides are moving very slow, and I'm afraid I can sure I cannot finish this presentation in two hours' time. That is not possible, but if you allow me, I can continue. <coughs> Take two cars now. You can see GM, GM, very nice SUVs coming from the GM brand now coming from China. General Motors earlier belongs to you. GM killer and China will be on a car, Japanese, Japan will look in on. In China, we look at a very good looking Honda Vidya car. Japan, we look at a very good Honda Vidya car. Safety car. Japanese car better than Chinese car. The strength is higher than Chinese car. Japanese car is higher than Chinese car. Japanese car is higher than Chinese car. Energy fuel saving. Japanese car is much better than Chinese car. Japanese car is much better than Chinese car. Baringata weight. Chinese cars are more heavier than Japanese cars. If you pay for the weight, Barata give a gun on a China car, you can go that way. So, what makes the difference? The experience within their organizations. Even Toyota, they, their engines are wonderful. New technologies, all they are doing very well. Ukkumatina the Pottan. In Japanese, Japanese engine technologies, no one can copy. China will add Hadan Napoleon with Digapal Laragan material analyze Kerala. They can do exactly the same. But the performance well below. Anubala. Is there a Japanese lot here? Why, sir, you Europe? Developed Perukuham, a Japanese Lakaran, they, they brought it to Japan, they analyze it and they do it. But luckily, Japanese they do it better because they have the tacit skill. They have the tacit skill. Some are Japanese, like no, even I have seen to my eyes. Anui Shaking observe Karan the Beridiva leaning so as they came Balana Kiano as they came Balani to Api Balana Belly Ladevi. See the difference. Balanda was observing what is seen is different from seeing. Yeah, that's why. So we want tacit knowledge, even to observe the thing. Behind those observations, effective observations, there are pieces of knowledge. If I be a company, so if I am here, the parampara So maybe, so maybe for the R and D department or for that particular maybe company, if one technology, maybe some craftsman came to the engine department, engine development department, let's say craftsman, 20 year, 18 year old boy joined the department today. He involved in the engine crafting and the development and manufacturing. He learned that 
and in 20 years time he will be a manager there in the engine development department let's say example so same like mr mcknight okay mr mcknight is a genius somehow in train so kohomada e aurudu 18 ilame aurudu 20 hariyata upadiyak wat nathu kohomada e tattata giye because they are receiving some very important hidden tacit knowledge those are not in the books and at the same times they are receiving the standard knowledge as well and finally he will be a great asset for the organization for that development division so he will be promoted and he is well paid and his his future is assured because they have to keep that employee over there tacit knowledge is the value of the organization putana can you understand pansalaka gatta thiyena issara kali hunde haam durur hitiya nam hunde denuma dharma dara vinay dara pragnavan putote paramparave hinai gatta mokkom ait pansali e e prestige ga it remains ekai eki guriyak thiyena and opatama tacit knowledge one more example let's say from the automobile ferrari ferrari is doing ferrari is an italy company doing very expensive cars kohoma de gudu ani it's a family business ferrari is a family business yeah kohoma do i look for the history do you think they use the ultra modern the simulations and the computer packages and they are hiring the most knowledgeable automobile experts and no 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 such thing they have the accumulated undocumented unexplainable hidden knowledge accumulated from generations that is their strength that is their strength <laughs> japanese that is italians even the italians the the when it comes to the <coughs> some products like the fashions cosmetics or whatever even the 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 ladies wear and all the handbags or even the sapatwara the italian designs are very fine kohoma the wine is in raw material they are using but the difference is because of the tacit knowledge ලංකා වුණත් යන්න බීකරියක් ගන්න. මේ තලගුලි හදන්නේ ජිනදාස තලගුලියකට ගහන්න තාම තලගුලියක් නෑනේ. What's that? Eh? That is the tacit knowledge but one day, one day if that continuation of generation to generation transferring of that experience, one day if that stop let's say someone going to modernize the ජිනදාස තලගුලි the facility factory if he, if he or she going to modernize the factory that is end of the jinadasa talugulu business you believe me because that stops the continuation of tacit knowledge and it will be another company that happens to maliban maliban there was one great uh, experienced people somehow they break away from maliban due to some reason some disputes of the employee rights or whatever they found manchi so the maliban knowledge gone to manchi with to manchi because the manchi people those who break away from the maliban they had that tacit knowledge yeah. see now manchi is leading that's why this this knowledge component is extremely important yeah that is related to some experience in knowledge experiencing knowledge and also knowledge being experience and experience also being learned but today about this subject okay about tacit knowledge and there will be a question for sure in the exam because this is important three m lagi thin here the man so what we need to know is same like three m how to nurture the good tacit knowledge without getting it destroyed how to safeguard the tacit knowledge how to nurture it 
and how to get secured that tacit knowledge for the future then putala to the money the maybe the barabatal yeah yeah we have lost that tacit knowledge somehow we have lost that tacit knowledge in sri lanka we call it lost knowledge yeah tacit knowledge has so many aspects and you need all the aspects to secure this tacit knowledge tacit knowledge is secured by tacit knowledge itself okay. that is very important even the germans they are the same even i worked for 18 8 years before i came to sri lanka for german company but in malaysia as a principal engineer so i know that even no matter how good our analysis are when it comes to germans the german products they rely on tacit knowledge they have to they have they have to prove the products now yeah. so they they also have the proven experience so they really respect experience and even in those companies the seniors are always initially at the craft level like the bookkeeper level be later become the finance heads you understand that management approach so today lesson i don't think you will learn this any more in future if you don't learn now nobody will share this you with you in this manner because even valuing the tacit knowledge is very rare because tacit knowledge is recognized by very less people here yeah even in covid case now sri lanka you know that president is doing well the military is doing well how come the reason is military has a generation experience managing operations getting the challenge and all so that tacit knowledge is still they are seamless means with no gap even president is from the military and the defense secretary from the military the army commander all are from the same regiment gajaba if i am not mistaken the gajaba they work together they, they have this collection of tacit knowledge and they can move the things forward and luckily even now this uh, director of this uh, dr jasing and they also have tacit knowledge that's why they can tell everything or friend see the one jasing has word cannot be challenged by gmo gmo got thousands of doctors but what what they telling always that predictions are not working that predictions become wrong but just one person telling just few words that is working that is what we call tacit knowledge tacit knowledge that is very important and now the us the president donald trump he has no knowledge about the society as a whole he is a dumb guy see now how the us is facing the issues yeah that's why so we have to believe on the tacit knowledge and if that school of thought same like if there is a generation of practicing tacit knowledge that's how earlier promotions are based on seniority means seniors have more tacit knowledge they are very well respected they came from the same ladder what the others are coming so the seniors are placed at high level but now all gone because the politics interferences not the right people were recruited when the wrong pre people are climbing on the ladder with their age they are getting age but their tacit knowledge is less because they are not up to receive their potential is not up to that and the systems all are collapsing you understand so i am sharing a very important thing with you i am sharing a very important thing with you and this tacit knowledge even though there is no any single word in google we langim me ane ekak thamai experience based knowledge experiential wisdom prajna kiyala ki boila to open to he to bala dharma e vage batti ni
when it comes to the observations, the tacit knowledge is very important. I have seen the Japanese, the Germans, how they are. Today it's about tacit knowledge. Yeah? So see, the Japanese, there is a proper word for tacit knowledge, but in Sinhala, we don't have. But in Tamil, there is a word it says. <coughs> yeah, we can check. Yeah, if we copy and paste the Tamil word and translate to English, if it comes to tacit knowledge, means in Tamil, there is a tacit knowledge. Uh, there is a tacit knowledge in place in that language line. Yeah, that is important. Yeah, this is again from 3M. We can know more than we can tell. Everyone is more or less agreed that explicit, explicit knowledge is information. Maybe let, me make, let me make it bigger. Explicit means we are gaining some external knowledge, knowledge something like external. Okay, so knowledge management, there are a lot of big books and if I refer the knowledge management things, so that should be some explicit, explicit knowledge. But if I feel this tacit knowledge and if I share this with the feelings and the experience, it is a tacit knowledge I am sharing with you. So when you feel it, you will have a little tacit knowledge on that. That cannot be explained. That's why. <laughs> okay. Everyone is more or less agreed that explicit knowledge is we call information. Explicit knowledge. Project management, this and that. We call those all our information. Okay? So explicit, we call this explicit knowledge. Yeah. So as long as if those knowledge is not internalized, take internalized term for the tacit knowledge as long as if it's not tacit because usage has very little value okay so the, everyone is more or less agreed that explicit knowledge is information and we talk about information management systems it's a very established area information management okay Information management system is a very established area. <laughs> and many of us familiar with the techniques and methods, the IMS systems, information management, databases, and servers, whatever the technologies, computers, everything so you have the you can process those data and all information management but only with the information knowledge explicit knowledge it is very difficult to do the things in uh, completion that is because the lack of understanding of the tacit knowledge and the information systems and all the organization can harness, can organize, can document, eh? can store that explicit knowledge related information, but there is no chance to manage mostly the tacit knowledge that is having with the employees. So the confusion surrounding knowledge management seem to be contributed largely to the lack of understanding of tacit knowledge, which means still tacit knowledge, tacit knowledge has to be managed. Managing tacit knowledge, it is more like philosophical. Managing tacit knowledge is not easy. Yeah. 
अरे इसर का लिखिया ने गुरु मुस्ती की लान समारा इतिहास करने के लिए गुरु मुस्ती की नहीं का पोत्तल है ना तेरे माने एक पोत्तल है ना एक गुरु वाले लान में तीन है वो नहरी देनुवा ये क्या बोला पोत्तल है ना तीन देनुवा इधर तो ना किया ना गुरु मुस्ती की ना if I'm not mistaken it is something very close to that because गुरु मुस्ती की नहीं कि ये देनु में नए ये देनु में दुन्ने नए कि ना लामे या दान्ने इतने लामे ये तो हुआ ना देव ना तो गुरु वाले लामे थे I just explain in similarities that one means it's a kind of knowledge within the master but that hidden knowledge can never be recognized by the students and those knowledge are not documented and are not in the books and this knowledge are purely based on this personality and the experience gained by the master itself and the master means he has more than the explicit knowledge he has more tacit knowledge and that's why so the masters the gurus they they have this tacit knowledge that's why when people need to acquire that knowledge students they have to be very loyal to the guru yeah when the students are very loyal to the guru the students receive this tacit knowledge the students receive this tacit knowledge that is very important that is very important yeah. so when you are going to industry you are you are very young but you are under you there may be very senior people very senior people but maybe the position wise they are at low level or sometimes position wise they are at your level so if you are smart enough you can capture the tacit knowledge with them that's why Managing the tacit knowledge, gaining a tacit knowledge belongs to someone. You should be smart. Smart doesn't means me. Can we move it or we cut the game? No such thing. You should be genuine. You should take care of them. You should respect them. You should share your ideas with them. You should support them. In return, when you are communicating with the communication, this tacit knowledge flows into you. So you are responsible to create that potential within you to receive the tacit knowledge in the organizations. And tacit knowledge with the people. So now I am sharing with you how to receive this tacit knowledge as well. Even I can remember when we were working for the industries, of course, very good industries not here, but overseas. Sometimes we work with the people uh, junior to us, but having a good tacit knowledge. So we should know how to get this tacit knowledge out not for us to receive only but also to make it useful for the organization yeah that's right so those are very important but if you if you are, if you have a strange personalities like you you have some very very proud feeling and you are graduate and all and you are above all and thinking in that way you are rejecting the potential for the tacit knowledge yeah understand yeah so be ready when you go to the organization's industry how to take the tacit knowledge and also you should be wise, wise enough to observe the tacit knowledge around you and the nature what's nature having is a tacit knowledge you know that nature doesn't speak nature is silent very silent so to observe that knowledge within the silent how to merge with the nature you have to be silent you have to be the nature yeah if you are somebody you are separate from the trees you cannot learn about trees yeah understand yeah that's the situation yeah so tacit knowledge is very important we can know more than what we can tell 
Okay. So here the second para this says this says tacit knowledge is a type of knowledge that many people believe that can only exist in the human mind. Yeah. Tacit knowledge can be the human brains are in here, their brain, yeah. It's a product of people interaction with each other and the people interaction with the environment. I mentioned about the environment around them. It's a product of people interaction with each other. When people interact with each other, the experience, the, the knowledge they are receiving are mostly tacit. Yeah. So when they interact with the nature environment again, there are silent knowledge you are receiving. The environment is teaching us silent lessons to us. That is tacit knowledge. Also this from a referent. Reference this Polini referred to tacit knowledge as something that we do unconsciously and most of time we are not aware of its existence. Even with our with no knowledge, we are receiving tacit knowledge. Sometimes we don't feel that we have that tacit knowledge, but we have uh, unexplainable experiences, knowledge, you can feel that even though their educational background may be very less, but their knowledge, excellent. Yeah. If they are, if they are farmers, even your father doesn't know. Yeah, unless he follows your grandparents' footsteps to the paddy field, then only they have the tacit knowledge. In tacit knowledge, Nati Manus said, Kumbura Katabasam Aswanathadi. That's the importance of the tacit knowledge. If you go, if your tacit knowledge is less, you cannot. That's why the tacit knowledge, even nowadays, these agriculture instructors and all, so they are. They, they check a certificate and maybe they undergo three or four, three or few months training and come as agriculture instructors and deployed island wide. Do you think they can do something? Not possible. Not possible. They have to follow the footsteps of their senior agriculture instructors. They have to learn those tacit knowledge and all. Then only they can perform. But on and off, very rare, there may be some gifted, gifted officers, the gifted young people. They can contribute, the others cannot. They have to wait for 10, 20 years to contribute. That's why. That is the time they are receiving it. They are learning the formal education and more, but after going to the field, at that stage, you will get experience. But if you can have that tacit knowledge well in advance, uh, that is very important. Yeah, that's what I can say. Eh? Yeah. So tacit knowledge is in the form of skills and competencies normally acquired. Yeah, that is the normal knowledge. Yeah? Knowledge in the form of skills and competencies is normally acquired through training and interaction with the environment. Yeah, that's it. It is not only difficult to articulate, but it is something that we cannot express. And even we do not know. Tacit knowledge cannot explain sometimes. Even we cannot, uh, we do not know that we have that knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, they have some basic the, the, the traditional they follow their parents and their seniors footsteps but when they come to certain level so they can with that tacit knowledge they can they can they, they can provide very good solutions yeah. Yeah. so when it comes to knowledge management means systematic attempt to acquire produce 
codify means this is not the product about coding, but in the coding also saying codify means mm -hmm. arrange and organize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anything. Can you see the slides? Yeah, of course you can see the slides. Okay. So for share knowledge, yeah, so the systematic attempt to acquire, produce, arrange or organize or share knowledge in order to positively enhance organizational level. So in the knowledge management in organization, that is about the organizational learning. Learning as organization, but of course individuals are learning, and interactions are there. Somehow this knowledge is all harnessed for some uh, common purposes. Yeah. So organizational learning, performance and com competitiveness. This knowledge management is very important. And here the tacit knowledge is the most important. So knowledge management is the process of creating knowledge, sharing knowledge, using knowledge, managing the knowledge and information of an organization. So it's a multidisciplinary approach, multidisciplinary in the sense the knowledge about technology, the knowledge about management, the knowledge about innovation, the knowledge about human resources. The knowledge about other resources, the knowledge about the processes, the knowledge even about the environment, the knowledge about the legal aspects. There should be a lot of all multidisciplinary approach, an integrated approach you know, to achieve organizational objectives by making the best use of knowledge. I hope you can word this using your own word what knowledge management means now you can understand even for a university let's say for university uh, it's also very important something like knowledge management you know there the knowledge management has to be there knowledge management some of the systems are there systems means you have the modules and the curriculums for each and every module and you have the the degree programs and each and every degree program programs uh, they have the the programs has the semester levels each semester has set of modules modules has curriculums and then there are like there are prerequisites so what are the things you should have as a prior knowledge and of course there are lecturers so what kind of exposure should they have to lecture this the lab classes and all experiments and some projects so that's how even the degree program is a kind of uh, delivery of uh, knowledge but the knowledge management is there so you can see the lot of systems are there a lot of people dealing with many disciplines there are educators lecturers there are administrators there are non-academic staff, even there are cleaning people to make the environmental clean and all, even the security to assure the security of the premises. There are greening aspects, a lot of things. So overall, knowledge management is something also multidisciplinary, even for the knowledge management organizations like universities. So this is a saying, knowledge resides in the users and not in the collection. That is actually very important. Knowledge resides in the users to experience it, which means knowledge is experience. And the successful knowledge transfer involves neither computers nor documents, but rather interactions between people. You are losing not a person, but you are losing 
some access to a very useful knowledge asset. One day you will receive something. Even treating them, they are gestures, still you will learn something. Still you will learn something. RD Pradhana I think from Kalavadikiru a principal engineer Kila Magiyanu Kitya. He's a genius. But he's a very simple, like how the Safakudan name he's a wonderful, very qualified, very good, excellent engineer. Then you sandals they have no idea. Miyaki Kati Guru that you know Odam Udava Kya to Dunga Kya Kya and Boma Pink Yela. Boma Pink Yela. Thank you, Kiran. Bhuma Pinkila Katayaru. So, single in Kamaki. Mamati Guru Dila, Pavari Yalu to the worker. Yalu Kinga Vashina, one of the Kinga from the work from which Bhuma Pinkila Ki and Mamat Guru Dila. So, what is that? The interaction. 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 It's a knowledge, you know. Thank you, Kina Tadi Bhuma Pinki from AK Kinabuta. They are receiving really something. From the universe, boom, boom, boom. Thank you. You are to just avoid dodge. Thank you. Word doesn't belong to us. We don't know. We can say thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. So I'm using boom, boom, Same like what my friend practiced. Yeah. That's also part of knowledge, you know. So anyway, I received that knowledge from him just because of interaction. Interaction with people. Then the Aluta Pingata, they all go up, you know, somehow interactions, not only these things, even technologies. We have a lot of sharing of knowledge. Saralama, they are keeping the boom of being here. Okay. What's the time, by the way? Oh, 319. 319. How to. So in knowledge management, as I mentioned to you, the right circle here, I'm circling. Let me make sure you are seeing it. Yes. The right circle is about organizational culture. Again, the knowledge management systems, the culture scene, they have a very good organizational culture. So organizational culture is very important for the knowledge management. That's why people in the organization, there should not be politics. There should not be gossips. Their time should be productive. Productive. Their time should be somewhat intellectual. Their time spending, interaction should be somewhat qualitative. Also should be somewhat generous. Yeah. So that's why. The culture is very important. A very good organizational culture is important. If your organization culture is not good, Knowledge management will not take place. Culture is very important. Also, intellectual capital. Some organizations they have the intellectual capital in the sense sometimes the documented knowledge, documented knowledge. Uh, sometimes the experiential. There should be some knowledge, documented knowledge, patents and all designs. Hmm? And all the things, the intellectual capital, the prop intellectual properties can be there. The trademarks, the designs, patents, everything. And other than that, of course, information technology is important. Yeah. This is important to relay the knowledge, to store the documents and all. IT is important. Do you know IT is for what now? So these three together play a role in organizations. 
in 3M company, organizational culture is wonderful. Intellectual capital is wonderful. And information technology should be there up to the level best. But information technology alone cannot do anything. They have to have a very good organizational learning and innovation culture. And they should have this intellectual capital, the knowledge capital, very important. Intellect capital. So these three plays very important role. You have to feel this, you have to understand this. You have to feel this, you have to understand this about the tacit knowledge. So the tacit knowledge management, okay? The role of tacit knowledge management. So here about the creativity and social interactions. That is a very important part. Creative ideas do not arise spontaneously from there. It won't come uh, automatically. There should be some uh, background. There should be some courses to create this kind of ideas. So the study, people refer consistently to the interactions with others for creativity and innovation. So that is very important. So you have to look into that as well. Refer consistently, consistently to interactions with others. Because when it comes to creativity and innovation, it is not a single person game. It's a teamwork. So the social interactions is very important for creativity. It means a teamwork. Divergent thinking leads to convergent thinking. Here in the sense, the people, the, the ideas from the different people for a common goal. Yeah. That is very important. So here, the people here means the people with tacit knowledge. And also when you interact with people, the tacit knowledge receives. So sometimes we can say the communities of practice, eh? the tacit knowledge. When communities practice together, sometimes the organizations, there is a chance to receive the tacit knowledge very well. There is a chance to receive the tacit knowledge very well. So I'm going to. Encouraging innovation in three years, again related to knowledge management. Right?
see here the focus cultural knowledge management focus rather than technical cultural means that is mainly looking to the tacit knowledge okay mainly looking into the tacit knowledge rather than the technical uh, technicalities they are more on the, the soft soft skills and soft approach on managing the knowledge so this is innovation encouragements in three m company recognizing recognition programs they have even an inventor or innovator could be promoted to vice president level even without having to have any management responsibilities if they contributed with innovations finally his level will be vice president level but no managerial responsibilities because they cannot do management so they may be very good innovators but then they are at the vice president level see how they are recognized inventors are known and recognized through articles and presentations in company so inventors are recognized publicly recognized in this 3m organization so 3m knowledge management innovation km means knowledge k means knowledge m means management innovation 60000 products due to their innovation process 3m is a manufacturing so they have 60000 products i think this is several years back record now should be more than that yeah so products due to innovation so they balance the creativity and conservation conservation means in the business you cannot do drastic changes you cannot do drastic changes then the business can go down so people keep certain traditions practices ongoing products and all with no much change yeah. not changing is like conservation conservative conserve is traditional but here there's a balance so they are not just keeping the traditions but traditional products but they are also going for new products that is very important the creativity creative products so there is a 30 percent rule if i'm not mistaken in 3m company that first 30 percent rule says within four years the revenue should 30 percent revenue should come come from the innovations done within four years that is the 30 percent rule again me the summer company 3m company other i mean see at the hack in rune out of the hatter at the letter curve innovation say it will see it have to have a part of me and that's how they balance the creativity and conservation balance it creativity and conservation so the 30 percent from creativity 70 percent from the previous even encouraging learning and risk taking there is a 15 percent rule so the previous one is 30 percent the 15 percent rule means 15 percent of the employees time in 3m should be spent for innovations no matter it is productive or less productive 50 percent 15 percent one five percent of time is for creativity and innovation so the employees in 3m company see but see any company they did other companies probably they need to work eight hours and even more than that but for them 15 percent time they should spare for their own interested areas to do some new things and creative things 15 percent all the while that is we call the 15 percent rule in three and also there are incentives example the 3m employees they can have 50,000 grant from the company itself for their own research 
for their own innovation, 50,000 grant plus 15%. So once that grant is utilized, they can have another grant of 50,000. So the strategies, yeah. So the knowledge management for innovations, that is the innovations in knowledge management. 3M's knowledge management innovations. Those are very important because finally, knowledge makes innovations. So the knowledge management is very important. And most of this knowledge that finally become tacit knowledge. Let's say 15% spend time on own research and the money is given for that. So they are experiencing doing this research and not all the experience can be documented. So there should be a lot of undocumented, very valuable experiences. That's why they are going from tacit to tacit in knowledge management. So people interaction, learning from each other, tacit knowledge. And the one, the young person enrolled, he will be there till his retirement. And company changes are very seldom. And middle level and above, no one will be recruited out of the system. So those are some policies they are having. Very nice. Uh, that's about uh, that's about it and I feel that I should open this link an article about 3M cooperation. This is a US, sorry, UK article, maybe. UK or US. See, nearly 35% of total sales came from products that had been introduced during the prior four years. The sales are in billions. Eh? So 5.6 billion from the latest innovations. Yeah, that should be the 35% or 30% rule they call it. So this is quite old uh, document. But you can see that 30% rule. So employees, 35,000 3M employees work to create more than 500 new products every year. See. So 15% rule is there and the $50,000 grant is behind this. Every year, 500 new products. If you think of the 3M innovations now, they are industries, you will be surprised. In 1995, 3M was awarded the National Medal of Technology, the US government's top award for innovation. Mr. McKnight, spiritual leader, introduced policies and philosophy that are considered to be responsible for 3M's ability to innovate consistently. Okay. So this says it. So interesting. So interesting. It's 337. Um, I stopped the class, so how is it?
can see some has left. So let me talk about the other details in the coming class, Putana. So I'm going to summarize this. So with all the sharings, so what I mentioned is how remarkable the tacit knowledge management and how important the tacit knowledge management. And you have to have the tacit knowledge about tacit knowledge management at this age right now. Okay, that is what you need. So book knowledge, explicit knowledge, fine, you can have it. Out of that, try to receive tacit knowledge and also interact with the learned people, seniors, and don't limit the knowledge just to innovation management. Try to be a complete uh, citizen. So get the tacit knowledge, get the very good knowledge and let you inspired, let you get inspired. Inspired means you will get something tacit with inspirations and all. So let me stop the class as it is 3.38 now. Okay. What's the time now? Yes, it is 3.39 now, so let me stop the class, but I have some very important uh, links to show you, up, but uh, as the time schedule is for two hours, let me stop the class today. So let me continue it after in the coming weeks, okay? So I'm going to stop the class now. So thanks for thanks for joining the class. So coming week, yeah, we will learn more about uh, more inspirational uh, innovation innovation uh, lessons. And one student, he replied, really tacit knowledge or implicit knowledge is the kind of knowledge that is difficult to transfer to another person by means of writing it down or verbalizing it. Yeah. Thanks, Shanuka. Thanks for that. Yeah. So that is really because there are no words to explain this. But once when you get interacted with those persons with that knowledgeable tacit especially in your trade management, trade or technical trade, as we have the potential to receive it. So keep potential open. That is very important. So that is a message and today going to happen to be a very valuable lesson that you will never learn this uh, unless uh, you have joined this class. So lucky one somehow joined the class today. So try to share this. Now you can feel that. You have a knowledge now you receive from today class. But when I ask, try to share, you have a come question. How can I share this? Because out of this knowledge, a major component is tacit. So how to share your tacit knowledge? You have no words. You cannot share it as a knowledge piece. That's why. So it's the inability of sharing tacit knowledge, but you can mention something on that, that David discussed about the tacit, that's all. That's all. So the joining this class is somewhat you get something more than the explicit or the book knowledge or the information. So this is more than that. So that's why I make you feel the subject. So we are, I believe we are doing very well. So let me share with you in the coming sessions more about uh, innovations and all are in line with the syllabus and all. And your knowledge is, uh, because when it comes to management, this kind of knowledge, you should have a thirst for this. You should have a thirst for this, not like technical knowledge. Technical is nothing, but the management knowledge, and this is not the, that uh, these, these are the soft, there is a lot of tacit factor here. 
So you have to have some very good interest on this. Yeah, very important. And uh, 3M PPP program, try to explore 3M pollution prevention pace. Yeah, that is for environmental technology, environmental science and technology. If possible, I will try to share this. Yeah, people are working on this as well. So let me stop the class with that now. Okay. So thanks, Shanika, for the comment. So good day, good luck. Uh, have a very good uh, weekend. Yeah, bye then. Bye. Thanks.